Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again another reaction for you guys. It's Scooby Doo Tuesday, guys. You know what that means? Of course, it means we're here continuing the journey of Scooby Doo Mystery Incorporated. This is season two, episode two of the show, House of the Nightmare Witch. That is the title, House of the Nightmare Witch. Based on that title, I'm guessing we're going to see a witch that causes nightmares in a house. That's my prediction. We'll see what happens. So, last week's episode, of course, we started season two of the series. I didn't have to wait a while for the show to return. I immediately jump into it basically a week later after finishing season one where Mr. Inc. disbanded and then going of course getting the season two premiere we had Mark Hamill of course Joker fame Luke Skywalker was voicing Crybaby Clown I think that's what that, that was the villain's name order Crybaby Clown and terrorizing Crystal Cove and the gang of course was disbanded based on the season one finale and so we had to basically bring everybody together almost except for Daphne, who was with a parody version of Taylor Lautner, and she wanted nothing to do with Mr. Inc. She was done with all that. And I think it really was mainly due to Fred calling off the wedding engagement, whatever, which I'm still baffled on that anyways, because I don't really know for sure exactly if they knew what they were doing. But anyways, so they got mostly everybody together. Fred, who has not shaven, he should not have that long of a beard, but he had not shaven for months but it was too long but anyways he had multiple opportunities to shave and trim up and go back to fred but he chose not to we had shaggy who was bald essentially you know clean shaven on his head because of the fact that he was in military school or army or something and scooby was in a pound or something somewhere out in the farmlands i have no idea and velma was essentially trying to get bring everybody back together they failed to stop the villain of the week they failed to stop crybaby clown that that was the name of the character they failed, and I think partly it was due to Daphne not being there, and them all working together kind of brought out the best of all of them, and they kind of figured that out. And Fred really had a reality check that he really screwed up because Daphne, he kept thinking, oh, Daphne's going to come after she said all this stuff about not wanting to see them again. Daphne will be here for the plan. So he had a harsh reality, a wake-up call, if you will. So I'm curious to see what happens here. I, I love the show. It definitely was an interesting way to open season two, but I mean... This show is surprising. It's exciting. So I can't wait to dive into this episode to see what exactly is happening with this nightmare witch in a house. Here we go. Russia? Okay. Who are these two? I heard jinkies. Is that what I heard? Oh my god! I never expected them to work together. What the hell? I'm guessing that's the witch. So Velma and Hot Dog Water. Interesting. With Mr. E. My real name? It's Marcy. Marcy. His hair's grown back. And he shaved finally. Thank you. Wait, if he, I thought he was searching a role. He's going to school too. Well, I wonder how dreamy you'd be if someone shot a lever with a crossbow, dropping a bowling ball on a seesaw, what? releasing an oil drum that. You know what we need? A big basket of comfort food. <clears throat> we need a new Daphne, and I have just the girl. Oh. Her real name is Marcy, and as part of that probation, I agreed to take her under my wing. But to be our new Daphne? It's homemade. Homemade prison candy. <laughs> I doubt that's gonna taste good. There'll never be a new Daphne. Why are they standing there? You have to say, I bet they're just standing there. Of course they were. Okay. Assistant curator Anna Arkadyevna. Selling such a price I'm assuming we're not seeing her face, she's the witch. Oh, okay. I was wondering why it had legs. Now I understand, because now the house is alive. Yet legs. It just about destroyed us before it disappeared into the haunted hills. So... Being as this is my first official case, yep, any case. advice? Um, be careful. Food running away traps and food. I'm running away. <laughs> and running away. <laughs> running away traps and food and running away. And we just found a big one. This yeah, that's all through there. Clue. That's this the house. Mystery. It's so weird that Velma and Velma, as a oh shit, are working together. <laughs> yeah, watch your back, exactly. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I just don't understand. It has fucking legs. I don't get it. And this is 
the clearing where Baba Yaga and her house attacked us, Sheriff. Sure. Yeah, I'm assuming it's that blonde woman that was taken by the house. Convenient, right? This area will become a bona fide top notch nickel plated revenue generating tour. What? Sheriff, you are not the mayor. She was attacked and devoured by the witch. Devoured? We don't know that for sure. I mean, come on. I don't have to remind you girls how important this is. Hmm. Have you been here all by yourself since your, uh... I'll seem so. By myself? Scooby-Doo! Well, my mystery are working together. I heard oh, he heard everything, story. okay. Like, no way. She was pretty mad at us for leaving her behind. Mm -hmm. But what's that, Mr. Trapples? Oh, come on. How are we gonna find Baba Yaga and all this? Elementary, my dear Marcy. We follow oh, the trail of weird liquid I saw leaking from the house. So sort of walk right in. I mean, okay. <laughs> I don't see it. Bingo! What are they looking for? What's in the box? Is that it? Oh! What Mr. E was looking for? Uh-huh. Velma, are you working for Mr. E? Yes. Yeah. But it's not what you think. Hmm. When you left me behind, I didn't have much choice but to team up with Mr. E. I'm on your side. Hmm. Trust. Trust. Okay. Oh no! My God! Oh Jesus! God! <laughs> this is crazy. Who's the king? Mr. Trapples grabbed a piece of the planisphere's disc. Nice. Isn't he great? Yeah, he's great. Is he else okay? Standing. He's not dead. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I should be the one to bury him. To bury him. <laughs> bury me? Bury so me? What? Jesus. We are so over it, right, Mr. Trapples? Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. Huh? This is the freighter. Oh, the, of course the house was there. <laughs> I just I was still trying to get used to that. It's just so weird. Okay. Why is the okay, why is the mayor always like there? Even though this happened last season too, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh my god, they're actually, okay, being helpful. <laughs> oh. Let's see who Baba Yaga really is. Curator Bronski? Exactly. Hmm. I, I was expecting him to, but I wasn't 100% sure. I even put a remote control in my walking stick to move the house. Interesting. When one of the legs was damaged, I had to alter the plan. But you... Okay. That's what they showed that little part there. We're a pretty great team, don't you guys think? Yeah, sure. yeah. I guess hot dog water. The Daphne who used to care about me, who used to assure well, you me the dreams. Well, you screwed that up, man. Unless they involve wing. Hello, hot dog water. Oh shit. I think maybe we should give her another chance. Talk to her. Don't go making friends, hot dog water, and definitely don't side with Mystery Incorporated. What? Their days are numbered. Okay, now this was an interesting episode for sure for a couple different reasons. Number one, Hot Dog Water, Linda Cardellini, of course, Velma from the two Scooby-Doo live action films is back. And I believe she said her name was Marcy, I believe, but they just kept calling her Hot Dog Water. Of course, we got to see the continuation of Daphne and her new boyfriend who I don't know why he's going to school. I have no idea if he's researching or like studying for the role for Dusk 4 or whatever, Still Dusk or whatever the hell that movie they called last week's episode why is he going to school? I, I don't know. I guess it's for research purposes. I don't freaking know. But anyways, we had all that. We had Mr. E and Velma working with Hot Dog Water for Mr. E. But then the ending of the episode had me confused because then he tells Hot Dog Water that don't side with Velma or whatever. I put you in there to be my eyes and ears and that their days are numbered. I'm like, but wait a minute. You were trying to help Mr. E Inc. in season one. So why are you now saying their days are numbered? Like, okay at least Daphne did a little bit of help barely though saying that the piece they found 
uh, within the house, which is so crazy. I'll get to that house in a second. Is a piece of uh, Farrah Roche or what was not Farrah Roche? It's like whatever, some sort of egg or whatever. <laughs> she mentioned her mom boil or try to boil them or something. What the fuck? Okay, <laughs> so stupid. A uh, Faberge. I think that was a Faberge egg. It's 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 a it's a Monday morning. I'm tired, <laughs> so I apologize. Okay, so we were dealing with a some sort of attraction or some sort of like thing in a museum that was shipped over to Crystal Cove because mystery asked because the opening of the episode we had hot dog water and Velma working together for Mr. E and they were going there because a part of the planet, a planetary, how you pronounce it, disc, the third one, which they have now found was there, um, in that house. And that's why they were going, but they shipped it, uh, to Crystal Cove and everything. And so, it was like, that's an interesting opening for sure. And we saw the witch or whatever. And it was this curator guy. And I'm looking at the actual, um, uh, the actual voice uh, cast here. Troy Baker was, uh, Vronsky. I'm, I'm pretty sure that was the character's name, Vronsky, but he was the curator or whatever. And he was the one trying to smuggle all these eggs or whatever into wherever. And the, the house was carrying all of them or something. And so he, modified the house which had legs i'm pretty sure it had legs in the opening sequence to move so it walked on giant chicken legs i don't understand it and it seemed that when the house was like running or moving that there was some sort of 3d model effect because this show is 2d animated but it seemed that they had 3d animation for the house when it was running because there was times i'm like that looks like a 3d model and not necessarily a 2d drawn sequence happening there when the house is running at times especially close-up shots i was noticing like hmm so maybe they use some of the 3d elements to kind of make it like look a certain way it was interesting for sure but um it was interesting to see the new dynamic of the team even though it was pretty clear that fred's losing his mind like he's slowly losing it because they allow Marcy, I believe that was her name, but Hot Dog Water to join the team because they need a new Daphne or they just need somebody in the mix. And they actually work pretty well together, even though kind of the ending kind of makes you go, okay, so Hot Dog Water is not to be trusted, but she's saying we should trust Velma, but Mr. E says don't worry about it because their days are numbered. I don't know, but they actually solved the mystery. They figured it out, right? Because see, in the, in the season two premiere, they didn't have a fifth individual. And they failed capturing Crybaby Clown. Here they had a little help by Daphne, but it was mostly Hot Dog Water helping, and they actually solved the mystery and stopped the house and everything. And I was like, okay, so this team kind of works. Even though Mr. Inc., of course, when you think of you know Scooby Doo and the gang, you think of all five of them, of course, with Daphne in the mix. Not a character called Hot Dog Water, but they they figured it out. I like how Scooby overheard Velma. And uh, talking on the phone to Mystery, because I was wondering, like, did did he exactly hear everything? But he heard everything. And then he just says it out loud in front of uh, Fred and Shaggy that I overheard a Mystery, you know, Velma's working for Mystery. And then Fred says, well, people change. Who knows? Because Shaggy was, like, you know, surprised. But Fred's like, ah, people change. Because he's like, well, Daphne changed, so why wouldn't Velma? But then, of course, they go to investigate I forget the Mr. Scuttles or what did he fucking call the bear? I can't remember what he called the bear, but he had a bear that he said kept him company. And then when we see the bear again, I'm pretty sure it was something else, not Scuttles. But um, I'm probably thinking that name because literally we had the Little Mermaid trailer drop last night and they had showed off Scuttles, one of the characters, the bird in the film. Uh, they showed off uh, what Scuttles looks like in the movie. But uh, that's probably why I'm thinking it. But he... he the bear is shown again in the mystery machine as we see it in his house, which by the way, I don't, I don't know why he's allowed to still live in his house. Is Fred 18? Is he allowed to still live in that giant, giant house with his, with his father in jail now? I don't know. But, um, the next time we see the bear, he is dressed it up like Daphne. <laughs> he's like, can we change the subject when hot dog water is like, uh, is that like, Daphne, like you dress like Daphne, <laughs> Fred. I understand, and he he went this whole spiel too about I'm happy you're here, hot dog water, but you're not my Daphne. You don't you don't do this, and you smell like you know part of a you know a pig or whatever. It's like he just go in, and he's like, but don't, but no offense, but I'm, I'm glad you're here. It's like Fred, I get it, but 
she's upset. Daphne's upset because you screwed up. Now, I get it. You were in a very, very vulnerable and very dark place at the moment of his decision to cut Daphne off and to say, we're calling off the engagement, wedding, whatever. Mr. Inc. is done because he literally just found out that his mom, this image of his mother he kept seeing was from a, a newspaper or whatever. It was, you know, not, not his actual mother. He found out his mom and dad are from the original Mystery Inc. And his father, the mayor raising him, you know, stole him as a baby and everything. And on top of that, of course, Velma lied about who, you know, Angel really was and all this stuff was just kind of unfolding. But... I don't think Fred should have made a decision at that moment because what is a lesson that we, that a lot of us learn as children, or at least hopefully our parents will try to teach us is the lesson of don't make a rational, a big decision in the moment of weakness, in a moment of, you know, vulnerability, in a moment of anger or sadness. Like if you make a major decision like that, cutting the woman that you have feelings for that. At, that you kind of asked to marry you or whatever, and then you decide to cut that off and stop that, you know, from moving forward, the relationship, stopping Mystery Inc. saying it's dead, and then just leaving town, that's all based on his emotions. If he would have just waited a little bit of time before making any decisions, I think things would be better. But I think that's the whole point. We all make mistakes, and we have to live by the consequences. Fred made a mistake. Obviously, he'd been through a lot. I'm not going to not, you know, <laughs> say that he didn't go through a lot of shit, because he did. But he should have waited before making some major choices, like completely cutting and destroying Mystery Inc. and saying, well, even though Mystery Inc. was already being, you know, disbanded anyways because of other things happening in terms of, you know, Scooby and Shaggy being sent away and all that kind of stuff. But still, it was like Fred should have, you know, it was, it was all worked out in the story. So I don't think, I don't know how different it could have really been. I don't know. Interesting episode though. Kind of weird to see the house running around, but uh, I had a good time watching the episode and I definitely am curious about what, like what is next for the show? Because like, I don't know where, like what, what happens next because like, okay, so do we trust hot dog water? I guess we can't trust Mr. E anymore. Um, is Daphne ever going to finally come back? I, I don't know. It seems like she's pretty adamant on not wanting to be around Fred or the gang. Is it mostly Fred? Because she made a point to say, because Fred's like, I know you're really upset with the gang. And it's like, oh, no, I'm upset with you, Fred. She's very specific. But she still even referenced when they were all there at her house last episode, saying, oh, these are some kids from my school. Like, she didn't want to talk to any of them. Like, okay, but if you're mad at Fred, then shouldn't you be more hostile towards him than everybody else? I don't know. Anyways. Hope you guys showed my reaction. I'm curious to know your thoughts about this episode. What do you guys think about the episode? I'm, I can't wait to see what happens next. <laughs> the show is so interesting and it gets me and it surprises me. It really does for the story it's telling and the reveals and stuff. I'm like, well, where, where are we going with this? So I'm curious to see what happens next. Hope you guys showed the video. Talk to you guys soon. Peace out.